Hello, everybody. This is Michael. In this video, um, we will talk about the ESP32 uh, feature review. Okay, the ESP32 is an amazing chip, and that is um, very popular uh, for the internet things and the portable devices. Okay. So uh, let's take a look at what's the feature, what's the chip features it has, and why we uh, uh, want to use it. Okay, so uh, when we to um, try to understand a chip, when we try to know the feature, uh, the chip's feature, we will start from the uh, data sheet. We always start from the data sheet. Okay. This is uh, uh, our first uh, information we can get, okay? And so um, this is a data sheet uh, for the chip. So you can get it from the web website. And let's take a look at what's the uh, amazing, amazing feature uh, it, for the chips, okay? The so first thing I will like to uh, say it is here, okay? Um, Let's take a look here. So, the first thing is this. It is a single uh, 2.4 gig Wi-Fi and Bluetooth combo chip. Okay, so it's amazing. It can combine the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth together in one chip. Okay, in one chip. It's ultra low power. Okay, so the first feature of it is, is this thing. Okay. Uh, so it's this thing. It is a com combo chip. Okay. So the second, let's take a look here. One hundred fifty meg BPS. A long time ago, I want to um find a Wi-Fi chip which is high speed and uh, low cost and easy to use. I cannot fight, a, I, cannot, I could not find a, a, a good solution for my project until I have this chip. So this chip, uh, the first things, it will be uh, the speed is 150 meg BPS. Uh, is good enough for most of the uh, internet things application. For example, the video, video wireless video, the audio wireless audio is good enough for all of it. And so, uh, this is one of my um, final solution for my uh, for for one of my projects. So the second feature it will be uh, the speed. It's 150 meg BPS, so it's a high speed Wi-Fi Bluetooth. Okay, so um, let's take a look the 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 second features. Okay, so the second fe the third feature is high speed UR. It's up to four meg BPS. Okay, which means you can um communicate with other microcontroller at high speed or you can uh, use a UR to USB a communication chip to communicate with your computer uh, this is high speed UR okay so uh, it will increase uh, 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 data rate for the communication okay by UR okay Okay, so this is the uh, um, let's say this is the third features, it up to four Mac peak BPS. Okay, okay, so um, the four features, it has a audio codec, and uh, that's wonderful, for some application, uh, especially uh, wi wireless audio, so uh. It is um, it's very convenient to design this kind of project. It including the audio codec, 
inside the chip. So it will significantly uh, reduce the ball size and also the uh, cost for the project. Okay, so it's audio called that. Okay. Okay, let's take a look at some other features. Of course, there is some other, uh, many other features here, but from my understanding and uh, from my, uh, some of my, some of, uh, some requirement for my project, I think some highlight feature is, um, is more important, at least for me, okay. So uh, the next one will be, ah, this one is very, very important and very, very useful. Okay, let's take a look what it is. This is uh, um, QSBI support for multiple fresh and SRAM chip. Okay, so you will see here, so for the chip, it's a single chip, it's already integrated wrong. 440A, 448KB row, and also the S-Ring, 520KB S-Ring inside the chip. So for some small application, you can, it is good enough, and you can coding, and also um, you can code, you can um, use it uh, for your application, but for some large project, uh, you need lots of data and uh, you need to uh, uh, do some real-time processing on the chip. So we are, you, you will need more fresh and more SRAM. So uh, the QSPI interface to help us to extend the capacity, capacity of the system to have more fresh and more S-Ring for our projects. So this is um, very important, at least for our projects, is a very, very good feature. And uh, we can um, give the system has more flexibility, okay? So this is very good features, okay? Let's take a look at some others. Okay, the ADC, okay. ADC is for um, analog to digital uh, convert. So it has a 12B, okay. It has a 12B and uh, 12B ADC, okay. Um, 12B and 80 channels. Ah, 80 channel, 18 channels, 18 channels uh, ADC. The ADC is um, very useful for some uh, analog, uh, sig analog signal connection. Okay, you can collect uh, lots of analog signal and send it by Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Okay. And also the DAC, the DAC is also important for uh, our projects, like convert the uh, uh, digital uh, value to the uh, to the um, analog signal. Okay, so it's like uh, um, so control some other uh, sensors or. or or devices okay and the special things for this chip it has a touch sensor is 10 touch sensor uh, the touch sensor is uh, especially for some touch projects uh, you can add it a uh, uh, touch touch keyboard on it so uh, it it will increase the um, the projects, uh, I mean, so uh, if you use the traditional key, uh, like uh, it will, it will, it will be, um, um, the traditional key press will need more components and more soldering work and also 
is not flexible, and the touch sensor will give you a more flexible flexibility for your uh, keyboard input devices and the interface. And then you can you even can design your project as the waterproof, and it increase your quality and uh, the quality of the devices. So this is very also uh, is a very good feature for the project design. Okay, so uh, the I two S I two S is very uh, interesting things and it's, it's especially for some uh, it has two I two S. Okay. It is especially for the uh, audio. You can use it to uh, read the I2S audio microphone and write the I2S uh, audio speak. So it's also very important and interesting. And the next thing is very important and interesting is there has a SDIO, SDIO. And also is a host and it is a host and slave SDIO. The SDIO is a high speed SDIO interface. It can connect uh, SD card directly. This SDIO support to SD uh, 3.2 protocol, a uh, 3.0. It support the 3.0 protocol. So it is a high speed uh, SD card um, protocol. It will easily uh, edit the uh, uh, data storage uh, storage uh, uh, ability ability for your uh, projects. And also uh, as a slave SDIO, you can use some other microcontroller to control the module or devices as a slave device and it's uh, it will uh, it's, it's a high speed uh, communication interface okay so the SDIO for the host and slave is very important okay it has a CAN 2.0 uh, communication protocol this is very interesting and this communication protocol is for car, it's for industry control protocol. So um, it uh, it give the devices have more application uh, uh, um, um, features. Okay, so um, and also it has these things horror sensors, horror sensors, uh, we can say uh, this sensor uh, increase the, the switch on and switch off uh, the ab ability is more easy to uh, like uh, use the uh, uh, untouch control for the devices okay and then let's take a look uh, let's continue okay so uh, you will see here this device is, is very uh, is very good for the camera uh, the camera camera application it's for the um, video stream in the future uh, videos we will try to uh, connect the um, ESP32 module to one camera sensor to stream the or uh, stream the videos. Okay, see and also it's good for the audio stream devices, streaming devices. Okay, and uh, the next things it's also for the speech recognition devices. It give you the ability to. Uh, to control your devices by the voice, the voice control is a uh, very popular for uh, for the current uh, situation. It's like uh, you can um, you can uh, control your uh, sensor collector or sensor date by voice. It's very cool. And uh, okay, so um, let's take a continue. Okay, so this is a block diagram for the whole chip. Okay, 
so uh, this is wrong this is strange and this is all the uh, uh, the connector interface for all the for all the features okay this is Bluetooth Bluetooth this is Wi-Fi Wi-Fi and this is RF the RF share with the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi okay so uh, it's very very interesting things okay so this is the pin out for the chip and then you will notice the one thing is this thing is QFN is QFN six by six let's say and it also has another another package is QFN uh, five by five they give us two information the first information is the the package is QFN, so means you can use two layer board to design it. It will uh, significantly uh, reduce the difficulty for the project and also reduce the cost for it. And you will see here is five by five. This is very very small, small uh, chip for the for the uh, for for the whole project. So it's as it's, 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 uh, it will fit for the um, very well good for the um, portable devices okay very good for the portable devices okay let's continue take a look if they mm, the chip is very uh, uh, it's wonderful and uh, and uh, okay so it also has the hardware increase in the it has a hardware encryption and decryption okay so which which means you can uh, protect your code by hardware and okay protect the uh, programs and the data by hardware okay so as we mentioned before they can external the fresh uh, 60 16 Mac Mac Mm, by okay 60 meg by and also s range is 8 meg by this is a very uh, important feature you can increase your fresh and sd range okay for your application uh, so in we can use it for different uh, 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 requirement for the applications Okay, the Wi-Fi, this is Wi-Fi feature, this is Bluetooth features, and you will see here, so it also has a uh, core deck. For PCM interface, is a uh, PCM interface is a very standard interface for the audios. So it's for Bluetooth audios. The Bluetooth audios is a very interesting thing. Uh, we have, um, we try, uh, uh, we have done some project about the uh, Bluetooth audio. It's, it's very interesting and uh, uh, used in many applications. Okay, so this is also this is also the audio interface, PCM and I2S uh, interface. Okay, mm. PCM and I2S interface. So you will see also here there is SDIO SPI uh, the interface okay and let's let's continue to see uh, there is uh, more features here so it's a uh, detailed description about all the other features like the ADC DAC touch sensor actual low power core processor something like this so you will see here so this is SDIO version 3.3 okay so this is very high speed uh, SDIO protocol and if you go here you will see the um, SDIO uh, speeds 8 80 megahertz and the 80 megahertz if we uh, use the 8B the date bus more it will be 80 80 meg by so it's very it's very high speed okay so this is for host control this is for slave slave controller slave controller the speed is a little bit lower but they support D 
DMA for the data transfer. Okay, so this is I two C. I two C interface. You will see this interesting. It up to five meg. Okay, that's interesting. The the I two C uh the I two C um interface up to five megahertz I two C interface. Okay. Up to five megahertz. This is very high speed I two C interface. So the standard also also it supports the standard more and fast more. Okay. Uh, this is I two S interface. The I2S has a DMA controller, DMA controller. Okay, this is PWM. This is PWM. The PWM is to use to driver the digital motor and small smart light, something like this. Okay. And there is also have some other features here. Okay, let's go down, go down. This is the this is the pin. This is a pin configuration. This is pin configuration. Okay. Uh, this this is for any GPIO pins. This is second second function for the for the for the pins. Okay. Mm. So um, basically, the that's it. The Wi-Fi radios. That's the Bluetooth radios. And uh, okay, receiver. This is transmitter and the receiver. And when you read the data sheet and you just the folks what you are interested in and some other things you can ignore first, and then when you need it, you can go back. So this is the package information. Okay, so our uh, package. This is six by six, and this is um, five by five. Okay, so this here five by five. This is five by five. Okay, five by five package. So this is package number and order information. Okay, so um that's it. So this is the chip, and uh, this is for the chip feature review, and it's kind. It, it has uh something feature some feature like this. It is very uh that this chip is very interesting, and uh, we will try to. Study it more. Okay, so that's it. This is Michael. Thank you for your watching, and I hope you like it. Subscribe us, support us. Thank you. See you next time.